Hi, I'm Lori, and welcome to the Way of Positive Change YouTube channel. Happy Election Day, everyone. This is really, truly exciting time for our country. And I hope everyone got out to vote. Um, I also want to say thank you very much for subscribing and hitting the bell if you want to be notified for the next video. I'll be doing a couple this coming week. Towards the end, end of this week. Today is Tuesday, Election Tuesday. So previously we've asked how the Democrats are going to do, and then we've also asked in the same video how the Republicans are going to do. So I don't like to ask the same question several times. I like to switch it up a bit. So this time, I'm going to ask, how is our president going to feel tomorrow morning when he gets up? Um, he's tried very hard. He certainly has been working very diligently getting, uh, trying to get Republicans to go out and vote. Um, I don't think, however, to me, the high priestess means we could have conducted ourselves a little bit better. Uh, usually we step in it a little bit, so I don't think he's going to have... Uh, a lot of great things to say. I'm sure he'll credit himself if, if it's really great and if it's not so great. Um, he may even isolate himself, you know, and uh, just, I, I don't think he's going to say the, the greatest things. So, all right, and it just keeps trying to fall out, doesn't it? All right, so let's keep going. How did Donald Trump feel? He worked hard. Uh, our past president, Obama, was out. Stump in with Biden and Kane. So let's see. Will Donald Trump feel celebratory tomorrow when he gets up and he sees the results of the election? Is he going to feel uh, like he did a really good job? Is he going to feel successful? Will President Donald Trump feel good? Will he feel successful tomorrow after the results come in late tonight? I'm sure you guys are going to get the popcorn and stamp late like I am. I know I will. All right, let's, all right, I think we're good there. Okay. All right, so the first card is, <clears throat> he's very tired and he's been working really, uh, really, really hard. But the Wheel of Fortune means there's going to be a change. So click, click, click. You know, I always like to think of it like a safe on a lock. Um, so there is going to be change. Now let's see what the challenge is. Oh, he's not going to be able to go forward to the next step. He's not going to be able to take it to um, where he wants to go. So uh, he's not going to feel uh, completely empowered by this. He's going to elude, and there has, you know, in all honesty, this card came up last time we asked about Republicans, um, that there was, you know, mystery, intrigue, some lying, some, some deception. There could be some foul play. And let's face it, it could be foul play on both sides, Democrats and Republicans. He feels like he he's tried to make the best promises that he can. Um, he's trying to be supportive of the people that are supportive of him. Um, however, we do know that the King of Cups can never follow through on everything that he says. Uh, but he's not, you know, okay cards with the deceptive down here. He just can't. Um, he might feel... Look, he didn't get enough time or he didn't get enough um, campaign funds or um, enough people didn't give to him. Um, he may feel like he came up short, you know. He thought he was well-funded. He thought he was going to do okay. This means to me, when you combine the Eight of Cups with the Three of Wands, um, the challenge feels like uh, he's walking on to the next thing, but... He, he didn't have satisfactory results. He's kind of head down. There's some resignation with the Eight of Cups. Like, I've resigned myself to this new path because what I had originally sought out didn't, is not as fulfilling as I thought it would be. Um, this always comes up with Donald Trump. He's always got somebody in his back pocket from his past. His friends will reach out to him, and he will also reach out to others. He'll make congratulatory uh, calls <clears throat> to people that he knows and to people that he helped, that he worked with. The 
the greedy side of him, the four of coins, is he's going to try to keep some things the way they are. He's going to hold down tight. And so I don't feel like he's going to want to work well with others. This certainly isn't the three of pentacles, is it? It's, uh, I want control. I want greed. I'm not going to open up. I, I want you to do this my way. <laughs> and uh, there's some selfishness involved with that. Um, he does feel like some of the new people that co coming in to the Senate and the House will have good new ideas that there will be some energy. Um, he knows there has to be a new beginning. And there's a lot of change coming. So, uh, you know, with the Eight of Wands, usually there is some good messages. So I'm going to say he, he's all right with some of the things that happen and some of the people that get in. But I don't think he's... I think he's going to go take a rest at Mar-a-Lago. That's what I think he's going to do. I think he's going to say, let's get out of here. I need to go have some rest. But I don't feel like he's going to... Overall, there's, there are some starts. Um, I feel like he will be in the press and he'll get messages, boom, 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 you know, that come in very quickly, the Eight of Wands. But I don't feel like he's going to have all, you know, that he's going to be um, really happy. I feel like he's... He'll be content, and then he's just going to roll with it, you know? Um, the Ace of Cups means there's a lot of emotion, and uh, he certainly will. Again, I'm getting two Aces, which is a change of places for me, so I feel like he's going to go to Mar-a-Lago. He's going to go um, for a respite somewhere, even though the Four of uh, Wands and Four of Swords is not there. Um, he has a lot of emotion coming. I don't think he's real thrilled. The Eight of Cups is not a celebratory card. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> and there may be some messages that, you know, they're going to have to do um, runoffs, you know, and some other races. All right, so what do we not know about how he will react tomorrow? How is the president going to really feel tomorrow? Let's do this one right here. He's going to feel a little isolated, like we came up with the high priestess. Remember, that's kind of like... And, and the Merlin, you know, the the hermit, that's the, he is the hermit. He's the cave dweller. So he's going to get information, but he's not going to feel joyous or celebratory. So I think this bodes well. Of course, we always, we, we do what we're told to do, you know, um, for praying for our leaders and uh, respecting them when they are in our office. But, of course, we want change, and change there will be. Make no mistake. Um, he's not going to be thrilled. But I, I do wish him well, uh, and I'm happy. So uh, I just want to thank you again. I'm all alone here managing the camera by myself today. I want to thank you again for subscribing and hitting the bell. Um, I do readings on Skype. I do $25 readings on Skype. And um, you can email me at thewayofpositivechange at gmail. And I'll be happy to do a reading for you. Several to do this afternoon. So thank you very much. And happy Election Day. Um, keep praying, okay? And I'll see you in another couple of days. Thanks. Bye.